So I'm in Dubai right now, only for a few days, but I got an invite off a chap named Sean on Instagram to head out for a bike ride with him. So I'm about to jump in a taxi right now and head to his house. Hello. For uh, Cameron. We all know Dubai is somewhere where the rich and famous flock to show off and spend their million. But is it a suitable place to take a bike? I met up with Sean from Ireland, who's been living and cycling in Dubai for the past five years. So I'm with Sean here. Sean, thank you for taking me out today. Thank you for- uh, My pleasure, my pleasure, this, Cameron. This guided tour. So tell me, what's it like cycling in Dubai? Oh, well, Dubai is very good. You know, the weather here is perfect. Yeah. The facilities is absolutely amazing. They actually build this track for cycling, like it's like nearly over 200 kilometers of a cycling track. It's the world, the world longest in the, uh, the world, world longest. longest at the minute, yeah. So it's like, it's incredible out here, you know. We've we've been living here for four years now, and like it's like, they've just, the support out here is massive, it's just amazing. You kind of restrict it just to the cycle paths, like you, you don't worry about it. No, 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 you can go to Jebel Jays, you can go to Jebel Afit, you can go to Shoka, you yeah. can go to Hatta, and it's more quieter out there, but we kind of leave that until the weekends. <laughs> Yeah. You do this during the week when you have more time. People travel into Shoka and Hatta and Jebel Jays, but yeah, this track's pretty good to be fair. You can get a, yeah. as much out of it as you, as you want, you know, yeah. so yeah. Dubai is known for doing things bigger and better than anyone else. They have a total of 339 Guinness World Records, ranging from the world's tallest building to the world's biggest water park. And this doesn't stop when it comes in November of this year, the Alkidra bike track became the longest in the world. There's nearly 200 kilometers of dedicated car-free bike paths heading out into the Dubai desert. So we are literally right now in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing around, just sand dunes. It is incredible. The road surface, the quality of this cycle lane is better than, I'm going to say 99% of roads in the UK. Yeah, there's the map of all the tracks and we started down here at, at, the, at the house and we've done the red yeah and then we've come up here and we've come down we call it Jurassic Park the, the orange one down here yeah and now we're gonna do this 18k loop and then back to here and back to the house I think we'll have like about 110k but like there's as you can see there's loops everywhere so yeah. you can you could cover I don't know five or six hours easy this is a bin to throw your gel and bar wrappers in as you are cycling past. A bin. They've literally thought of everything. What are they, Sean? Just rest areas? Uh, yeah, rest areas. Yeah? Just to get out of the sun and just, yeah, just take it easy. <laughs> they just have them periodically around the route, right? Have you waiting on a lift home? <laughs> There's our first bit of UAE wildlife. Looks like a deer with some big horns. There's always that one guy that turns up on a train ride with a disc wheel. What's that about? Me and Sam are on a tacky on climb. Yeah, no, Sean's gone. Uh, me and Sam stopping over for a week after world champs that we had in Abu Dhabi. The triathlon. The world triathlon, like Olympic distance champs. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm stopping for a week because next week I'm off to Bahrain 70.3. So hence the yeah, the race kit. The full rig, which I apologise for. Is this your first time in um, in Dubai? Yeah, first time in Dubai, second time in uh, the UAE. Yeah, what do you make of it as a whole? Oh. What? Like, you struggle to find someone that's not here. Yeah. Honestly, it's, it really is. It's so unique, isn't it? It's just like you've given a big kid a playground and a, and a drawing. Yeah. And they've just like put up whatever they want. <laughs> Mental, really that's good. A, that's a good way to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the biggest descent in the desert, apparently. I was literally about to ask you what happens when you run out of water. <laughs> you die. <laughs> no, there is one or two, but there's not many. So you have to uh, time it well yeah. <laughs> and don't get caught out. <laughs> Learn where the water fountains are. Well, there's only one on the whole course, to be fair. Right. And it's at this mosque, you know, so it's pretty, it's pretty crucial to a lot of people, you know, so yeah. a lot of people go that way because two bottles normally last them to get back here and then yeah. they fill here and then they go back around again but they're only 10 kilometers from the coffee stop so like it's uh it's crucial to get it to be fair you know on a hot day so we've got a nice tailwind right now but riding out there's a bit of a headwind is that something that you have to face regularly in the desert more or less yeah yeah there's no shelter out here at all to be fair that you do get calm days but most day there is a good headwind or 
you know, and it changes very quick here. One yeah. minute you could have a, a head one and thinking you're gonna get a tail one, and then all of a sudden you turn around, you still get a head one, so <laughs> it changes very quick. One positive of coming out of a couple of triathletes is you move along very, very fast. So one thing I've realized, you don't necessarily come to Dubai to cycle and have incredible views of the alpine climbs. But what you have got here is just the consistent weather. Every day you know it's gonna be beautiful sunshine. I mean, the biggest worry that these guys have on a day-to-day -day basis is how windy it is. Incredible. So that is the gantry to do another lap, but we're gonna flick off before it. That is a lap done. How good is that? That was epic. <laughs> nice yeah. coffee now. And you've got that every single day. I can't remember the last time I was drinking a nice coffee <laughs> in the last day of November. I've been here five years, look at what stuff I have. <laughs> Coffee stops are different in Dubai. <laughs> Once we'd had a quick ice cream and coffee, it was time to head home. But before we did, Sean wanted to introduce me to some of the local cycling community here in Dubai. This is John, who's a mechanic at the local bike shop. How are you? Give us a wave. Speak. How are you guys? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Why should, that's yours. <laughs> why should people come to cycle in Dubai? Why? Because this is the best and safest of all yeah. place. Yeah, I will yes. assure you. And you will look after them? Yes. <laughs> Sean the legend's giving me a lift back to the hotel, thank you for that. My pleasure man, pleasure. I really enjoyed the day and I'm looking forward to the video. <laughs> me too, me too. So quickly, last question, what in the UK, cyclists, the drivers and cyclists hate it. Well, they don't hate each other, but drivers hate cyclists. What is it like in Dubai? Is it similar? Is it, I mean, the roads look pretty crazy to me. Well, to be fair, like a lot, you don't see a lot of cyclists in Dubai city itself. They're yeah. all on the tracks. Yeah. But uh, if you're out in the mountains in Hatta or Jebel Jays or Jebel Afit or Shoka, they're pretty nice out there to be fair, you know? So, um, you know I mean? It's kind of just it's kind of stay out of the city. It's kind of stay out of the city, you know. I mean, you would, the roads are too busy to cycle here in the city, you know. Yeah. But there is places that you can cycle, and like you know, I mean, the sun's shining, and you know, people at this stage in Dubai are used to people cycling. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're they're pretty friendly to be fair, you know. But I guess it's the same in the UK that you're not really going to go cycling through the middle of Manchester or the middle of London. Yeah, you're not, you know. So uh, you just have to be by the roads, and uh, yeah, it's. It's pretty good to be fair, you know? So that was my day cycling in Dubai done. I didn't think I would be saying this, but honestly, I loved it. I really do hope I can come back to Dubai for longer in the future with my bike and continue to explore what Dubai has to offer. We rode for nearly four hours today and didn't even cover half of the bike path. The cycling community here is growing day by day and everyone that I met today was friendly, accommodating and helpful. Dubai, I'll be back.